And so I want to show you these improvements in action with a demo. So let's get back uh, over here. All right, and I'm just going to pop up uh, the browser. There we go. Here's my pen. Uh, so if you've used the pen uh, before, you'll know that in the past it's kind of simulated a mouse. And really what we've done now is made the pen a first-class input device in its own right. Uh, and so if you just put the pen down, you can pan uh, documents, you know, scroll them up and down easily, naturally, like you would with a finger. Um, and the pen also has a little barrel button that's called on it. And if you hold that down, you can instantly select text. And so it's very efficient to both pan and select text, which is something you can't do that efficiently with touch or with mouse. With mouse, you can select text easily, but panning, you have to go to a scroll bar. With touch, you can pan easily, but selecting text, we all know what's involved in that. Um, and so it really gives you a really great model for, for, for panning and interacting and selecting uh, content. So that's one improvement I want to show that's great that's in the Fall Creators update. Another one is around uh, handwriting and input. So if I tap into a text box, you'll see now the handwriting panel shows up right next to that text box. You don't have to go find it somewhere else. Um, the handwriting reco has uh, gotten quite good. Even my horrible handwriting as recognized is Surface. Um, I'll type Surface Studio, for example. We'll see if it recognizes that, yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, one of the improvements is that you can now just scratch things out and do other editing in line directly right in that handwriting panel. Uh, so if you got something wrong, uh, or if you have the worst handwriting in the world as I do, uh, uh, you can get that fixed. You'll also notice that things like the autocomplete update in real time along with what you're typing and as long as things are recognized. So it's a really great experience with pen. You never have to put the pen down, even if you're, if you're writing, if you're panning, if you're selecting, whatever you're doing. And these are all enhancements that are kind of built in to the, you know, the core controls and the platform and the system. But I also want to show you, um, in addition to the work we've done in Windows itself, there's a, we've worked closely with a number of third-party developers to create unique and compelling experiences with Pen. And the Pen is great at a lot of different uh, things, including writing complex equations, compositions, math, science, um, where the mouse and the keyboard and even touch kind of fall down. And so uh, I'd like to show, show an app that helps do that, which is the Fluid Math app. Um, and, and I'll also note on this that this is an app that helps with education, but studies have shown that handwriting increases memory and information retention by up to 29 percent. So if you think about an app for education, if you think about teaching, teaching kids things, pen and handwriting and ink can actually really help, help that and help with retention, in addition to being just great for things like math. And so this is a, a great app that you can write equations out and you can do things like graph them just using simple gestures. So I'm going to graph that C and then add that A to that graph. So it's kind of easy to visualize these. But there's even more fun ways you can visualize once you're starting to have the pen. So I'm going to pick the draw pen here. And I'm going to bear with me while I draw a little turtle. It's a little blue turtle. You guys can tell me if you think it's a different animal. Here's a red turtle. All right. There we go. And I'm going to, just by annotating these, I'm going to connect them to these mathematical equations. So I'm going to connect the uh, blue line to uh, A, I think. Uh, so I'll mark that A, and I'm going to connect the red guy to C. And so just you know, me typing that, drawing that little symbol, it connected the equations and the variables. And then you can actually run a simulation here. So I'm going to run it from uh, T uh, is 0 to T is 30. And we're going to watch as these race and visualize. I hope we'll all see that a quadratic equation ultimately goes much faster than a linear equation. And, uh, you can really experience that you know, as, as someone learning math uh, with a tool like this in a really novel and cool and innovative, you know, fun way, even if you're a terrible drawer.